Hey everyone, I'm going to talk really quickly about my favorite ways to find free money. Three of these ways are going to be through your employer and then one, the last way I'm going to talk about is something that's really underutilized or not known by a lot of people on how you can put some free money in your pocket immediately. So number one, I'm going to talk about an ESPP, which is Employee Stock Purchase Plan. This is simply a plan that's provided by your employer that you get to purchase employer stock at a discount, which is typically around 15%. Could be less depending on your plan. It could be more if you have a look back feature. But nonetheless, that discount that you can buy the shares at is pretty much free money. And on top of that, if you're able to sell the shares after you purchase them and there's no restrictions from your employer, well, that just makes things better because you can actually sell the shares and use that cash for something else and you still got the free money through the discount. Number two. Number two is an HSA or health savings account. And you might wonder, how do you get free money in a health savings account? Well, a lot of employers actually will put money into an HSA if you're also contributing to an HSA. So that money that they're putting in obviously is free money. So if you're not participating in HSA and your employer has one, check to see if they also put money in, if you put money in the DHSA. So that's a really big benefit. And, and HSAs are very underutilized as well. And if they don't offer a contribution, it's still worth looking at because an HSA is triple tax free in the fact that it's pre-tax, you can uh, invest the funds and they grow tax deferred, similar to an IRA account. And then if you use them for qualified medical expenses, that's also tax free. So triple tax free. And then an added benefit, if you don't use the money or another way to put it is if you don't spend the money or try to save up that money in your HSA, well, after age 65, that basically turns into a retirement account you use just like an IRA. You just pay ordinary income tax. So an HSA can be a, an added benefit and it's very, very underutilized. Uh, from a financial planning aspect. Number three is a very simple one, but nonetheless, I wanna talk about it. It's your 401k match. Now, as easy as that is to say, a lot of people still aren't taking advantage of their 401k plan, and especially the matching contributions that come from your employer. If your employer offers a matching contribution, take the free money if you're able to. If you're not taking the free money, you're basically telling your employer that you want to work for less money because you're denying that free money or their contribution to the plan. They're giving you money to participate in your 401k. So take advantage of it if you can. Now the last one I'm gonna discuss is a really hidden one that not many people know about and that's simply unclaimed property. Now what is unclaimed property? This is simply credits or rebates or uh, financial accounts that were forgotten about um, in the state you lived in and that never got to you. And that money just went back to the state and the state has all this money built up that is due to people and no one has claimed it. And a lot of people have money out there that they don't even know about. So you can actually go to uh, Google unclaimed property or unclaimed.org and there's a database there that you can click on the state. If you've lived in multiple states, check them all out. Just pop in your name and address and most states' websites will actually show you the amount, the address, your full name, and then you can just uh, start the paperwork to uh, get your unclaimed property if you have some. So, like I said, not many people know about that, and that's an easy way to get money in your pocket today if there's money out there um, that's due to you. And I've seen amounts on that website anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks all the way to thousands and thousands of dollars. So. Definitely check out unclaimed property in all the states that you've lived in and see if there's free money. So that's it on my four ways to get free money. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know.